Hey guys, welcome to your uh, last day of the weather patterns lab. Um, this is the last part. You got some conclusion questions at the end. Um, part D is a big one. You're basically um, putting all of the different types of maps that we've made on this lab all together to make one giant synoptic map. All right. It is a, a little bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, it wouldn't be a big project grade if it wasn't a pain in the butt. So uh, let's get to it. So everyone should be working on map D. All right. Part D is for map D now. So make sure that it says map D. Okay. Um, so first part says label the center of the low pressure area with the capital L. Now, we already did this in the previous maps. We know that the center is right at Cincinnati, right? There's our L, all right? That is our low pressure center. We know this because of all the other maps that we've done so far. Next, um, here, we'll go checking them off. Next, it says using a, a dark blue colored pencil or you guys are on your iPads, obviously. Draw a cold front with the proper symbols. And then three is saying, make a using the red colored pencil, make your warm front. All right, so if you guys remember, the other day when we were doing our low pressure systems, we went over something called um, mid-latitude cyclones, okay? And that was this, okay? this worksheet that we did the other day, all right? If, I'm hoping that you followed along and paid attention, but essentially what it is is that you have a maritime tropical air mass that's sandwiched in between two continental polar air masses. And this is one big low pressure system. That means that it goes in and counterclockwise like this, and we said that the whole system as a whole always goes northeast, okay? So that is what they are talking about now, all right? That is what we will be mapping on this map D, okay? So that's going to help you kind of figure out your locations of just about where the cold front and where the warm front are. So I'm going to do this, this part with you, and I'll leave all the tedious stuff um, up to you. Okay. So let's go back to our map here. Okay. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find the cold front. So that's in blue. Okay. So looking at all the temperatures here, you should be able to kind of see a division between cold temperatures and warmer temperatures. And I am looking just about right here. That's my division. If you look to the left, you see 56, 60, 54, 56. These are cooler temperatures. And if you look to the right of that, you see 70, 71, 76, right? That's a big difference. So cold on one side and warm on the other. So that's what's letting me know that to the right of that line is my warm air and to the left is my cold. So this is my cold front. So what I'm gonna do is make my cold front going this way. Okay, and this is essentially the same thing that we have here, right? So I, you should have some idea as to where the warm front is going to be now. It's going to be to the right somewhere. So try to find that division of cold air and warm air. So you got all your warm air over like Georgia and Florida and Tennessee. And then once you start getting higher, like into the uh, Virginia, Maryland, area, it starts getting cooler. So I see the division right around here, right? You have 
the 68, the 63, and then as you move up, you're in the 40s, right? Here's 71, 68, 63, 70, 71. These are warm, and then as you go up, these are cold, right? That's our division. Okay, so here we go. Let's make our warm front, and it's going up. And remember, warm fronts are half circles, whereas cold fronts are triangles. I like to think of them as icicles, okay? So that's our warm front and our cold front, okay? So now, the next part, so we just did one, two, three. Now, four is saying, look at all your weather station models. Um, they're gonna have little R's in them that show that it's raining. And it's saying to shade the areas that have rain in yellow. Okay, so number one, yeah, you're gonna look for all the little weather station models that have R's in them. And then number two, remember what we said about fronts. It always rains at fronts. So I'm gonna go to the yellow highlighter and try to track down some of these R's. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, right? If, if you look, it's kind of along the fronts. So I'm just going to shade this. Okay. That's essentially what it's asking. And that's, I know you guys aren't taking the regions this year, but essentially whenever they ask you this question on, uh, on a regions, they just want you to shade the fronts because it always rains at fronts. Okay, so we got that one done. And this is almost at the point where I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to do one more with you. And that's going to be to label where the continental polar and the maritime tropical air masses are. Okay, so let's go back down and let's label them. So we said that we have cold air over here to the left. So this is continental polar. This was your warm air, maritime tropical. And here was your cold air again. Okay, and if you remember going over here, look, continental polar, maritime tropical, continental polar. So we essentially made a mid latitude cyclone on our map. Okay, so now is where you guys get to have all your fun. I, I wanted to go through that to make sure we all understood it. Um, I basically did it for you, so you're welcome. But this is where you guys are gonna be uh, taking over. So you're gonna be looking at the maps that you've previ previously made, and now you're gonna draw in your isotherms in orange, your isobars in purple, and make our wind patterns. So everything that you've done on maps A, B, C, you're gonna take those and put it on this. So if you make sure that you do them in the proper colors, and if you do it right, I'll, I'll flash it to you this way, you can kind of see what it's gonna look like. This is what it should look like, something like this, all right? Notice the isotherms, the ones that are horizontal lines are in orange, you got your ISO bars that are going in my pressure systems, and you got your wind patterns in green, okay? So it's everything in one big hodgepodge together, and uh, that is your final synoptic map. Then you have to answer your questions, and then you have to answer your questions, all right? Make sure that you submit on time, it is counting as a project, so it will be weighted a little bit heavier than everything else. It's five days worth. I'm giving you a whole week for this, so it's basically five grades. So if you don't do it, that's five zeros. That will hurt you. So please make sure that you get it done and get it done well. I did most of the hard stuff with you, so you have very few excuses. All right. 
And again, if you have extenuating circumstances, speak up. All right, guys, stay safe, get it done. I miss you. I love you.